This use case describes the process of creating a new business license application form with associated users and a two-step approval workflow within formsflow.ai. Here we can see how the two-step approval process would work. First, the client or the citizen user submits the application form. This starts the workflow. The first step in the two-step approval workflow is to send a notification in the task menu for the clerk. This lets them know to perform the first level verification. The clerk verifies the application form and provides feedback. The clerk has two options available, to review or return a form. If the form has errors or is incomplete, it is returned to the client. Once returned, the client is able to edit the form and resubmit it. Once the form is complete, it can be marked as reviewed by the clerk, triggering the next step in the approval process. The approver will get a notification in the task menu to process the second step verification in the workflow. The approver can either approve, reject, or return the form. This slide shows the different user roles you can create in Keycloak. For this demonstration, we will be creating four users in Keycloak. So, we are assigning the designer role to Peter Watts and the client role to John Smith. Clerk and approver roles will be assigned to John Doe and James Adal. The clerk and the approver roles are part of the main group reviewer. Now we are going to see how to create users in Keycloak. Log in as an admin user in Keycloak. Choose the appropriate realm in Keycloak to create a user. Here I am choosing the realm Forms Flow AI. Click on Groups under Manage and select the default groups. This will list all the available groups in the system. To add a user, navigate to the User menu and click on Add User. I am going to add a user as a designer. The user I am creating is Peter Watts, and I will be assigning this user to the group Forms Flow Designer. Fill in all the required details, such as the email address, first name, last name, etc., and click on Save. Under Credentials tab, add Password for the created user and click Set Password. Once the password is set, assign the user to the designer group. Similarly, create the other users and assign them to respective groups. Navigate to Users menu and click on View All Users. This will list all the available users in the system. Now you have a designer role, so we can see how they are able to design a form. Log in to your local host with FormsFlow web URL using the designer ID that we created in Keycloak. Once the login is successful, the designer can create, view, edit, or delete forms. To create a new form, click on Create Form button, then provide a name for the form. Now you can use the drag and drop forms builder with rich UI components to create a form with ease. Provide an appropriate label for the text field. Click on the required validation or any other validations that need to be performed. Provide a suitable property name for the field to be passed on to the backend. To make any changes to the text field, click on the settings gear icon. When you are happy with the form you have created, click on the save and preview button. The designer can view created forms here. Now we can view an example form that we created previously to demonstrate the workflow association. Click on View slash Edit on the Create New Business License Application form. To associate a workflow to the form, click on the Next button. Workflows are created in Komunda Modeler and are uploaded and published with Komunda BPM to Forms Flow AI. Once the workflow is published, it is fetched by the Forms Flow AI API and comes up in the Form IO Design Workflow Association step. You can click on the Edit button and associate a workflow to the form if required. Here I am associating the two-step approval workflow for this form. 
This workflow involves the clerk and the approver for the verification. Once the workflow association is completed, click on Next button to preview and confirm. Now the designer can publish the form for the clients to use. If the form is not published, it can be viewed only by the designer. The client or reviewer will not see it. Click on the Save button. This completes the form design and workflow association steps. Now we are going to see how a client or a citizen user would view and submit the form. Log into the FormsFlow web URL with a valid client user ID. I am logging in with the user ID John Smith that we created in Keycloak. Once the login is successful, you can view and submit a form. Click on Submit New button to fill in a form. Fill in all the required details. Validation messages for each field will be displayed as and when the user makes a valid entry. Once all the details are filled in, click on the Submit button. If the form is associated with a workflow, it will begin now. The client can view the Applications menu to see the newly submitted form. Click on the View button to see the non-editable Submitted Application in a new tab. You can download the form using the Print as PDF option. Click on the Application ID to see the details of an application. The Forms tab shows the submitted form, the History tab shows the various stages through which the application is processed, and the Process diagram shows the approval workflow. This client submission is now complete. Next, we will see how a clerk would review the submitted form. Log in to FormsFlow web URL with a valid clerk user ID. I am logging in with the user ID John Doe that we created in Keycloak. Navigate to the Forms menu to submit a new form or view the submitted forms. You can navigate to the Applications tab to view the submitted forms with the application status. You can view the submitted form by clicking on the View button. This will open up the form in a new tab. You can now print the submitted form as a PDF if required. Associated tasks for the clerk can be found in the Task menu section. There are options to filter the tasks. Click on the Review Application task with two-step approval workflow, which was recently created. The clerk can view the submitted form, the form history, and workflow diagram. On claiming the task, the clerk is able to mark the form as reviewed or return it with feedback to the client. The return option will send the form back to the client to edit and resubmit. On returning the form, the application status is changed from New to Resubmit, and an option to edit is available. The client user can now edit the form and resubmit it. Here I will log in as a client to perform this action. The client can see the comments from the clerk and make appropriate changes to the application and resubmit it. Now I will log in as a clerk to review the resubmitted form. The clerk claims the task and submits their review with feedback if required. Now the form status will be changed to Reviewed.
The clerk's action for this form is completed now. The final step of this workflow process is the approver. Log into the Forms Flow web URL with valid approver user ID. I am logging in with the user ID James Adal that we created in Keycloak. Once the login is successful, you can navigate to the Forms or Applications or Tasks menu as required. You can navigate to the Applications tab to view the form submissions. Click on the View button to view the submitted form. You can now print the submitted form as a PDF. The associated task for the approver is found on the Task Menu section. Click on the Approve slash Reject option with the two-step approval workflow. On claiming the task, the approver can fill the form and submit the review with feedback. The approver can approve or reject or return a form. The approver action is now complete, which means the new business license application workflow is completed successfully. You can navigate to the Dashboards tab to see the analytics of our solution. Navigate to the Metrics tab to see an overview of the total form submissions with application status and the workflow stage it is in. Navigate to the Insights tab to see the dashboard created in the formsflow.ai analytics server. This completes the demonstration of creating users in Keycloak and the actions performed by the Formsflow AI users.